Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I am going to show you how to build a Python tool to scan for a robots.txt file. Now if you don't know what the robots.txt file is, it's this. So you know whenever you make a website, a bunch of search engines like Google and Yahoo, they're going to crawl your website and that's how with a crawler they're going to go through page by page and you know, store it in their search engine. So then whenever people type in the newboston.com all of the results pop up for everyone's you know profiles page, the forum post, whatever. Now the problem with this is whenever you're developing a website there are some pages that you don't want Google to crawl. So examples of these pages would be like the admin login page, um, you know maybe some sensitive areas, maybe some moderator panels. So a lot of the private areas of the website you want to make sure that Google doesn't crawl those. So what you can do is you can make a special file called robots.txt and you can upload this to your server and usually what web developers do is they list all the files that they don't want Google to crawl and then Google ignores them. Same thing with Yahoo. Now the thing is, and the cool thing, is whenever you're analyzing a website for security issues, one of the, <laughs> one of the first files that you always go to is that robots.txt file. Why is that? Well. If the developer said, hey Google, don't crawl these because, you know, people shouldn't be <laughs> looking at them, well, we can just look at it and say, oh, so these are all the areas that are, you know, kind of sensitive. So it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, what we need to do is we actually need to use um, a new package to download this file and store the results. So let me make a new Python file and I'll just name it uh, robots underscore text dot py. All right, so I'm sure you guys used URL lib before. So all this does is it allows you to basically make a um, a request to a URL, like a get request and I don't know, simple enough. So basically download files from the internet. Now we also need to import a package called IO, and this is just for encoding so we can make sure that we have, you know, um, we're getting our data in a readable format that we can work with. So robots.txt. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a URL. And here's the thing. So this is actually code. I just want to show you guys something. So we're going to pass in a URL like this, reddit.com. And the robots.txt file is on the top domain. So robots.txt. Now the trouble with this is whenever users are using this tool, I don't know if they're going to format their URL like this or they're going to format it like this. So some people have that little forward slash at the end, some people don't. So I just want to check for that first. So you know, this has nothing to do with the tool, just a kind of user experience, if you will. So I'll just write if URL that they passed in ends with a forward slash, then what we want to do is we want to take that path and just keep it as the URL. All right. So if it ends with a forward slash, then we're just going to use that with a forward slash at the end. Else, if it doesn't end with a forward slash, then we're just going to add one to the end. So by the time we get done with this, they're always going to have a forward slash at the end, nice and consistent. So URL plus the forward slash. So again, if it already ends with a forward slash, then just use that URL else if it doesn't then we're going to tack on the URL. Simple enough, easy wheezy. All right. So now what we have to do is we actually have to make the request to that file. So what we're going to do is we're going to request a file from the internet. So URL lib dot request and now it says okay what file are you requesting? I need the URL of it. Well it's just path right here Plus, actually you need to surround this in robots.txt and the second one I just write data equal to none. And here I actually need to write URL open. All right. So this is the function URL open. So it's pretty much going to open this file right here, which is going to be uh, reddit.com slash robots.txt, the new boston.com slash robots.txt. 
uh, ebay.com slash robots.txt or whatever and it's going to store the request or the results right in here and now we just need to make sure that our data is encoded properly so you know we can work with it in python without it freaking out so io text io wrapper so this is our request and we just want to set the encoding to utf8 standard encoding and now let's just return whatever those results were so data dot read and let me format this and there you go so again all we're doing is we're gonna pass in a URL some website we're gonna get the robots.txt file and then we're gonna return the results the data now just so we can prove that this works let me print get robots.txt and we'll do it for reddit.com and let me run that right there all right so this is reddit.com's robot.txt so there you go looking beautiful and you guys can play around with this throw in a few more websites but I done with that test right there all right so we got the robots.txt file we got the IP address we did an nmap scan looking good this tool is looking sweet and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to get the who is of a website see you next time